What's up guys, boy Benny. Instant replay is a really important tool when you're watching live sporting events. Gives you a chance to really like soak up and take in what you just saw live. You can't really process it. Your brain's not really able to, to process everything correctly. And so we've been re-watching the Donald Trump debate that he had on Tuesday night. Now it is our contention that Donald Trump should not ever do another debate uh, with the same rigged system that was so biased against him that Donald Trump was fact-checked on his own humor, his own sarcasm. Donald Trump says, we lost by a whisker. And David Muir says, well, that's not sarcastic. He's, he's fact-checking Donald Trump's sarcasm. We rewatched it again, and we couldn't believe this. Donald Trump one time, just one single time, brought up that he was shot in the head. And what was the response? From the anchors. We're so sorry about that. We, we apologize for contributing to the hatred of you by running fake lie after hoax, after fake lie, after propaganda, uh, rage propaganda against you for years. No, their response was, you can't talk about that. Shut up. That weaponized, not me. She weaponized. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. They talk about democracy. I'm a threat to democracy. They're the threat to democracy was a fake Trump. Russia, Russia, Russia investigation we do have a lot that to get. went nowhere. We have a lot to get. You took, you got shot in the face, bro. You you survived an on-air execution and uh, we had a lot to get to. No apologies, by the way. I find this particularly e e egregious and grotesque. No apologies from the media. I'm not saying that ABC News needs to go out and say, we're the ones who fired the bullet because that's not technically true. But ABC News didn't even end the debate once. Say, sorry you got shot in the head. ABC News did a 90-minute live interview with Trump and never once just stopped to say, sorry you got shot in the head, man. Nothing. You're not allowed to give Trump any humanity. Kamala Harris wants more of this, of course. The three-on-one mob execution style journalistic assassination of President Trump has worked out great for Kamala Harris. She gained a, a point here or there, in, here or there, right? There's no major massive tectonic shifts. Donald Trump, I think you could argue doing better after the debate than Kamala is. So Kamala begging for another debate. We owe it to the voters to have another debate. Well, listen, lady. Donald Trump offered to have another debate on September 4th. We know this because we were the one, we were cheerleading for it live on Fox News in front of a live audience in Pennsylvania, must win Pennsylvania. Do it up. Go. Kamala was too scared. She ran away from it. So now Kamala doesn't get to go, go and like clang the pots and pans and say, no, it can't win you. No, lady, you broke it. You buy it. Trump declares there'll be no third debate. Kamala Harris, after uh, campaign releases memo touting gains in targeted states. This is exactly the point. The point of all of this is if you can, if you can rig a system where the probability of Trump losing or getting out of your trap is very, very high. If, if the executives at ABC, the anchors at ABC, who are sorority sisters with Kamala Harris, the executives who are best friends with Kamala Harris, set her up with her husband, if they can all rig it against you, then you can increase the probability, and they'll only fact check Trump, you can ratchet up the probability that you're going to win the debate and you're going to get a gain out of it. So why wouldn't you want someone to go play that game if it's the dice are loaded, right? Yeah. Donald Trump said there will be no third debate. There won't be a third debate, will not be a rematch. Uh, obviously, there have been so many corrections. It's been humiliating uh, if you if you care about things like this from the press. Uh, the press have had to correct time after time after time after misleading after misleading after misleading. Look at this. Even, even Snopes getting in on it. No, Trump did not call neo-Nazis very fine people. Snopes getting in on it. And then this happened yesterday. We covered it. We said... Wow, this is very interesting. There's an account we're not familiar with. We don't know who runs it, saying that they have an ABC News whistleblower and an affidavit has a non-disclosure agreement that says that um, there was assurances that Kamala Harris would not be fact-checked and that she was given sample questions ahead of time. This caused the Trump campaign to respond and to share this allegation. Uh, we all saw Kamala Harris give perfectly recited answers during the debate, like she knew exactly what was going to be asked in advance. I guess I, I spoke with a member of my family who's not particularly political. She told she tells me her re response to the debate, she doesn't really watch this stuff very often. Her response to the debate was like, Kamala Harris seemed like an actress reciting lines. This is what she told me. I was like, man, that's exactly right. 
This turns out to be true as a major breach of journalistic ethics and will be a death blow to ABC News' reputation. Kamala Harris lied 25 times in the debate against Trump and was never fact-checked once. Look at that smug-ass look on her face. They got something on their sleeves, man. They really do, and they knew it. Okay, so here are the updates on this. We do not have the affidavit yet. We do have a response from ABC, and here we go. I've been contacted by Gateway Pundit regarding whistleblower story. I've responded to them. They can do a joint release with the whistleblower story as long as they will protect the identity of the whistleblower. I want the story to have multiple honest corroborations. Uh, I've never been community noted. Everything that I post, uh, predicting something ahead of time by a source indeed has happened. A few times I've posted something. Uh, somebody else turned out not to be true, immediately corrected. On the night of Trump's assassination attempt, I posted that within hours, the name of the assassin, and the FBI was already saying the Secret Service had made numerous errors. Okay, so this is like all explanation. You should trust me. I care less about the left saying I'm a liar. The left does not lie. The left does nothing but lie. The reason, there's a reason other n nationally known people called for an investigation in ABC yesterday, yesterday, understanding that this is why there are few people at ABC who are upset with what happened at the debate. Personally, I believe there will be more than one whistleblower when this debate is over. So what they're talking about is former top Clinton advisor calls for ABC to launch internal probe as to whether the debate was rigged. Mark Penn, a former top advisor to Bill and Hillary Clinton, called Thursday for ABC to launch formal investigation uh, into the news division's plan planning and execution of the week's presidential debate to determine if there was some effort to rig the outcome of the debate. ABC News came under significant bipartisan criticism of his moderators fact-checked by some of Donald Trump's statements, uh, but not a single pushback made by anything that Kamala Harris said, Trump said Thursday that a debate was a three-on-one and declined to participate in other debates before the election. Anchors David Muir and Lindsey Davis moderated the first debate, and Harris-Trump, it drew 67 million viewers, making it one of the most watched presidential debates since 2008. But it's drawn scorn by Republicans and Democrats, given the appearance of bias. They need to do a full investigation, hire an outside law firm. Uh, I don't know how much was planned in advance, Penn told John Solomon. I don't know what they told the Harris uh, the Harris campaign. I think that the day after, suspicions were really quite high, and I think the review of their internal texts and emails should be done by an independent party to find out what to what extent what they were planning on, in effect, fact-checking one another uh, and the outcome of the debate. Such a demands nothing less. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ABC News has responded to this. ABC News has finally uh, come up for air and said, uh, extraordinary allegation about collusion between Harris uh, it, they deny it. ABC News is denying that Vice President Kamala Harris had debate questions in advance. MAGA is angry that moderators fact-checked only President Trump, of course, that that is something that is not up for discussion. ABC News denied this. Uh, absolutely not, they said, uh, and a spokesperson said to the Daily Beast. Harris was not given any questions before the debate. Former President Donald Trump and his allies have stoked conspiracy theories that Harris was given a leg up on the debate. She was given a leg up on the debate. This is her sorority sister asking the damn questions. The, the the woman who set Kamala Harris and her husband up is the executive of ABC News. That is the leg up. They made a custom podium just for Kamala so she'd have the right height of a podium. Whatever. And of course, they filmed Donald Trump looking down on Donald Trump. These are like little subtle things. Look, you're looking down on Donald Trump. You're looking up at Kamala Harris. The heroes, the sort of the hero trajectory arc, right, for Kamala and looking down on Trump. These are... Say what you will. These are things that you cannot refute. Okay. Uh, on Thursday, uh, a website said that there was allegedly a whistleblower. David Muir uh, and Davis did fact check Trump in real time, batting down some of his claims, including that Haitian migrants were eating people's pets. Well, you yeah, have the police reports for that. Uh, the lopsided scolding has uh, enraged Trump allies. This is very, very true. Um, some of the, you know, some of the members of the, uh, debate, some of the members of the, the debate commission, commission on presidential debates have said that the, the bias of this threatens all presidential debates into the future because Republicans are now saying like, why would we ever sign up for this again? You know, they actually did more damage, I think, to Kamala in, in all this. I think they did more damage to Kamala, to Kamala Harris. I, I, I do, I do absolutely believe this because if you're gonna prime boost Kamala, she's going to have to win fair and square. You prove how rigged the system is against Trump by behaving like this. And you actually like bleed, bleed into his argument. Now, I have no idea if there's an affidavit or if there's a real whistleblower. I don't know. 
I have a very simple t- take on all of this. There are facts and then there are unproven claims. And there's no such thing as a conspiracy theory. There's just stuff we don't know. So we just got to figure it out. And you let the facts draw you where you're supposed to go. But man, it, it like it it really destroys the potential for any further debate or any, people will remember this forever, right? What they did during this debate. It is a, it is a grotesque and egregious. Um, and it makes a lot of people angry. And this is what Donald Trump says about no debates. And I think he's right about that. Well, you know, when you when you don't win, it's like a fighter. When a fighter has a bad fight, gets knocked out or loses the fight. The first thing he says is, we want a rematch. So we won the debate according to every poll, every single poll. I think that, uh, are we going to do a rematch? I just don't know. But we'll think about it. Would you still do the one? We'll think about it. This is what Donald Trump should do. I have a sense that perhaps Donald Trump is negotiating, a a good negotiating tactic, is saying no, and then walking away. Right? You walk away from the table, you say no. That's a good negotiation tactic. So this is Donald Trump walking away. Uh, now, there's got to be concessions from Kamala Harris. One of those concessions should be Fox News debate with Tucker Carlson asking the questions. <laughs> that's, my, that's my opinion. And I'll I'll be happy to do it, too. I, I accept. Don't, don't pay me anything. I gladly do it for free. It'll be my volunteer work for the week. So many questions I'd like to ask Kamala Harris. How, how do you how do you um, how do you live with yourself when, when you cackle like this uh, in the middle of sentences? How do you do it? Can you do it for us right now? We have so much we'd like to ask. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe to hear us ask the questions.